Hello, welcome to Yoga Flow with Megan, Yoga for Glutes. I know this area is a common one people are usually trying to strengthen, so that's what we're going to do today with these variations of yoga poses. So to begin, you're going to meet me on a yoga mat, towel, carpet, rug, whatever you have handy, in a comfortable seated position. So you can sit with your legs crossed or straight out in front of you. And just relaxing your shoulders, your face, closing your eyes, we're just going to take nice deep breaths. Releasing your chin to your chest, begin to roll the head. Other side. And roll in your shoulders. Rolling your wrists. And just doing any stretch you think your body needs. Before meeting me in tabletop position. So tabletop position, we want our knees and our feet hip distance apart. Toes tucked or flat, whatever you prefer. I always think tucked is a little better for balance. So try to keep them tucked if you can. And we want to place our wrists right under the shoulders, fingers slightly spread, really gripping the mat with the finger pads, the entire palm, fingers pointing to the top of the mat. So our first position here we're going to do is tiger pose. So to do that, we're going to inhale as we just lift that right knee up. We're just going to hold here. And now we're gonna pulse it. So we're gonna inhale as we lift and release. So inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. And just keep doing these for 10. Nine. And release. And then we're gonna inhale the left knee up. Holding here. And now we're going to pulse it for 10. And release, taking a breath. And then we're going to inhale. I'll do, I'm going to do the left side here so you can see me a little better. Because if I do the right, it's kind of hard. Or, you know what, I'll just turn around. Wouldn't that help? Okay. <laughs> So we're going to inhale that right knee back up. This time on the exhale, we're going to release that right knee to the right elbow. So exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. And we'll just do, let's say, six more. And release. And inhale the left knee up. Same thing. Exhale, releasing left knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Six more. And release and taking a breath <laughs> making sure you're putting pressure on your finger palms and your well, finger pads and your entire palm it takes less pressure from the wrists and now we're going to inhale as we straighten that right leg behind us and we're going to pulse it 
So we're gonna lift it slightly up and releasing down. So inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Let's say eight more. And keeping it where it is, we're gonna exhale as we release that right foot to the outside of the mat. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale to the left side, outside part of the mat. Inhale, lift, exhale, outside the mat. So in essence, we're making a rainbow with that right foot, if that makes sense. So inhale, making the arch. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Let's say five more. And releasing back down. If your knees get a bit sensitive, feel free to stick a towel underneath them. And left side. So inhale, straightening out that left leg. We're going to pulse it 10 times. Keeping it there, we're going to exhale as we place it to the outside left part of the mat. Inhale, lift, exhale to the right side, outside part of the mat. Again, making that rainbow, making that arch. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Let's say eight more times. And release. We might have done another extra one there. And just taking a rest, getting back on the heels, rolling head shoulders, rolling out the wrists if they're a bit sore. And maybe back in tabletop position. So placing those wrists under the shoulders, fingers slightly spread, really gripping the mat, finger pads, entire palm. Knees and feet hip distance apart. So now we're going to step the feet back to a plank position. So stepping that right foot back, left foot back, plank. Keeping that core, those abs strong, holding here. So to make this target the glutes on the inhale, we're going to lift that right foot up. So when you're ready, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Left foot, inhale, lift, exhale, release. Keep going. Right, left. Right, left, and releasing back to child's pose. So releasing those knees, sitting back on the heels, arms extended, forehead on the mat, taking a breath. Inhale, lifting up the chest. We're going to move into a standing position. Okay, so whenever we're standing, we want to place the feet hip distance apart, and our feet are parallel. So we want them slightly spread apart. We don't want the feet out to the sides. So we're going to pull them in, relaxing the shoulders, the face, taking a breath. All right, on the inhale, we're going to lift the arms up, palms are parallel. So when you're ready, Inhale, lift. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see my alignment a little bit better. We're gonna move into chair pose. So on the exhale, we're gonna bend the knees, keeping that back straight, chest open. Nice deep breaths. And if you can, see if you can sink a little bit lower.
If you're balanced, see if you can challenge yourself, lifting the heels up. Sinking a little bit lower, keeping the glutes strong, core strong, abs strong. Exhale, releasing the heels and straightening it out. Going head, shoulders. And the last one we'll do standing up is called goddess pose. So for this one, we want our feet spread apart a little wider to see where they should be, opening up, opening up the arms. You want, want to line up the ankles and the wrists. And for the feet, we want to open them up so they're pointing to the corners of the mat. So our feet are nice and open. We're going to inhale as we lift the arms up. This time we're going to place them in prayer. And exhale, bringing hands to chest, bending the knees. Goddess pose. Keeping the chest open, core strong. Nice deep breaths here. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. You can also pulse here. And inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, arms down. So moving the feet back together, we're gonna lay down on our mat for this one. So this is gonna be bridge pose. So we wanna place the feet hip distance apart, ankles under the knees. Our arms are by our side, palms facing the mat, fingers slightly spread. And just closing your eyes here, nice deep breath. On the next inhale, we're gonna lift the hips slowly up and hold when you're ready. Inhale, lift. So keeping those hips high and squeezing the glutes. Keeping the knees hip distance apart. Opening the chest. Exhale, releasing down. Another one, when you're ready, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. We'll do three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. So this time you can stay where you are, or if you wanted to make a little bit more of a challenge, you're gonna inhale as you lift that left leg up, left foot, left, the sole of the left foot uh, facing the ceiling. Nice deep breaths, keeping the hips up high. Squeezing that, the glutes. And exhale, releasing the left foot down, lowering the hips, back down to the mat, nice deep breaths. Last one, inhale, hips up. Staying here or lifting the right leg up. Sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Keeping the hips up high, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, releasing the right foot down and the hips down. Nice deep breaths at center. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly roll yourself up. Whew, that was a good workout. <laughs> 
So the poses we did, we did variations of tiger, variation of plank, we did chair pose, goddess pose, and variation of bridge pose. So I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you back on the mat again soon. Bye.